Hi there. I'm trying to show you what uh, Angela Morin was saying about tuning the, the, the right frequency for the hyperdrive. Because now I can uh, really hear it using these controllers. It's a basic small tiny controller from uh, eBay. Well, y you can hear it. You can hear the the frequency when it's when it's hitting the magnets inside. And uh, I will show you in a moment using this uh, 500 volts. I bought it 500 volts DC at 5 amp power supply. Bought it from China from Alibaba. You can find it there. Is uh, I paid. Uh, 800 810 dollars plus including shipping it was nine or 900 dollars including shipping I'm sure. and uh, it's on 12 12 volts it's gonna work on the controller and uh, let's hear the pitching of the frequency it's quite interesting I'm sure you can hear it It's like tuning a radio. It's like it's like tuning the, 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 the right channel. Finding the right channel for the for the magnet. So by changing It's modulating the frequency inside in the in the mode in the hyperdrive. And if you try it to move it, yeah. It doesn't oppose any resistance because I'm using very low voltage, very low amp, but to just to find it. The right, uh, the right frequency. And to show you when I'm turning it without, without the controller on, it doesn't make any noise. with the high frequency. Now, to work with this power supply is quite tricky. He is quite tricky. That's why probably Gerard Morris said he, he burned two or three or four power supplies. It's quite tricky to find it the adjusting, uh, the right adjusting for this one, because if you put too much amp or too much volt, you're gonna blow up the controller. It's, and it's, it shouldn't fluctuate that much. And that's it for now. Thank you.